Another day, another mission, risking our necks for the Ark. You know, I ask myself, Dux, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on, we gotta head back before Prep closes for the night. Let's split up. Over here. heroes back at the Ark. The air stinks like mutants. Not just any mutants. Stalkers. Tight muscles. Good meat. I smell it too. Where there's stalkers, there's Ark. Where there's... Serves you right. You finally figured out how to use that thing? Never seen ghouls this far south before. They're getting closer to the Ark every day. Something's up, Borman. It 
It's a... It's a... We saw one of these things once. Filled with zone dogs, right? ourselves some ghouls. One of them looks like he ate a ghoul. We better get into ninja mode. Listen, turn off your flashlight. If we sneak by the water, they won't see us. up ahead. Home, sweet home. Oh, I'm gonna kiss that elevator when I see it. Get upstairs, take a bath, get a grog with the boys. Get another grog with the boys. Foot massage. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. Nothing like a bunch of skeletons to put your mind at ease. Sneaky, we can get into a good position. A good position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight.
hungry, hungry. I says we take the ark, taste the mutants. <laughs> Love me some mutants. <laughs> Here we go. Rip their hearts, crush Split them. Up. Hey, hey. You hear that? You hear that noise? I hear my stomach. Hungry. Kill. I'm the death-dealing, soul-stealing, stalking machine, baby.
you good? Get the fat one! Get ya! Too shabby. left a lot of ugly junk behind, but once in a while you see something like this. Wonder what these buttons are for. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. I'm not kidding around. Lay off the buttons. What's up your butt? That's a bomb, all right. They used to call it a boom box. Touch that red button, and it goes boom. Don't be pretending you know what any of this crap is. We'll bring it back to the Ark and show it to Prip. Ask him what it's worth on the black market.
Of course the world ends. You did it to us. When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. We call it the Ark. The Ark is humanity's last outpost, a lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one with the guidance of our leader, the Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave, because outside these walls lies the zone, the never-ending wasteland. A mass grave spanning the planet, littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, a.k.a. a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. If the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least, that's what the Elder says. Sweet home. The elevator's up ahead. <laughs> 